Broomhill Sports Club Glasgow are the new boys in the Scottish Lowland League. It's one of the toughest leagues in the country, but one that Broomhill hopes to excel in, not just this season, but in the years to come. It's a new horizon for Broomhill, new management, new coaching staff and some new players as well. We're here in Glasgow to see what the boys at Broomhill are all about. Jamie, how have you enjoyed the season so far? Um, it's, been, it's been an enjoyable season so far. Yeah, we've took a, a while to get going in some parts of the season, but it's good to see the results starting to come together now. Um, hopefully we can push on now and start to put a run together. We've won the last three, so it's more enjoyable when you're winning. So if we can keep that up, then it'll be a good season. Yeah, um, since since Kingy came in, he's brought in a few a few extra faces and the uh, competition's been fierce. Uh, season's going well so far, sitting mid-table. Um, with a bit of a... A harsh lesson at the start with a few heavy defeats, but no, we found our feet and uh, yeah, we've had some some good results, playing some nice football as well. So uh, it's going good. it's going well. Uh, it's been brilliant. I've uh, it's been a long time since I enjoyed my football and I'm really enjoying it here. Uh, since the new guy that came in as well, it's been training's been brilliant. The boys are all brilliant. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's a, a new team for Broomhill, new league. How's this squad come together for the challenge? Um, it's been good. We've got some some really good players, especially considering we're a brand new new team starting out. Um, previous manager and the current manager have man managed to attract some, some really good players to the club which has been excellent it's been a privilege to play with them um, going forward again I think we're just going to get stronger the club's moving from strength to strength and hopefully we can keep doing that So what was your reaction when you heard Andy Gorham was coming in as a coach? Ah, well, I was delighted you know it's, uh, you're not going to get anyone with as much experience and knowledge of the game uh, obviously he's played at the highest level so it's only, only something you can learn from it's only going to be good for, for myself and Ian boosting our performances. What kind of information has Andy passed on to you so far? Uh, just a lot of technical stuff, you know, about our angles and um, kind of how to affect the game from even even when the ball's up the pitch. So a lot of technical stuff, but it's been it's been beneficial um, and it's it's been really good. Eh? How has the new coaching staff been like to work with? Brilliant. Uh, every one of them, they're all got different ideas. Even Big Ali is brilliant. Uh, as I say, different ideas, so you're always learning off the three of them, uh, they're brilliant, as well as Katrina, the physio, she'd be looking after me this year, so <laughs> it's been good. Uh, I see there's quite a, a lot of good players here as a competition for places. Aye, definitely, well, seeing at the weekend there, Aidan Malone's came on from the bench, he scored two, he maybe should have been starting, We've got boys every week think they should be starting and they're getting left out, so it's it's good that way, and you know, it's a young squad as well, um, I think I'm third oldest, I'm only 23, so it tells you about the squad, and I think a lot of the players uh, could easily play at a high level, and it's, it's good to have. What are your personal goals for the season? Personal goals is um, just to try and help help the club finish as high up, up the league as we can and enjoy a successful cup run, and the, the two cups were left in, um, so my personal goal would be for that, just for the club to try and finish as high up the league as we can. How have the coaches been like to work with since you've come to the club? Um, the coaches, coaching's been first class, everything about the club has, has been excellent, the facilities we've got, the, the way the club look after us and the, the coaching, they work as hard as you can see the steam's coming off me now, but um, it's good training, it's, it's good sessions and I'm enjoying it. And as captain you've managed to build up a good relationship with them so far? Um, yeah, yeah. I was captain before the new, the new manager and the new coaches came in and it was a privilege that they kept me on as, as captain and they've, they've been good with me since they've came so it's an honour to be sort of captain for them and good to be captain of the club. How would you like to see the rest of your season pan out? Uh, I want to play as much as I can, you know, I, I, that's why I came here, I, I wanted to play as much football as I could and enjoy it as well, you know, after last season getting kind of limited appearances, just want to be playing as much as you can and, and hopefully we can finish as high up the league and, and maybe even have a good cup run as well. Uh, we'll talk to me about Andy, but the coaches here are actually quite high, a high standard. How, how have they been to Bournemouth? Oh, brilliant, yeah. Um, uh, Kingy and Giggsy, even Jamie as well, they've all been brilliant. Um, great knowledge of the game. They're, I think they're doing their UEFA B licences just now, so no, the coaching has been excellent. Training has been really good since I've come in. So how are you finding the, the Lowland League compared to your time at Morton? Uh, it's, it's different. It obviously, being at Morton is full-time, so... You're training every day, you feel sharp, uh, a lot of good players, but at the same time, I've been very surprised since I came here that a lot of the teams try and play football, they try and play the right way, a lot of good players. Uh, it's not that much different, I don't think that it gets a lot of credit um, when it should, because as I say, as a young team here, many of them could easily play in League One with Morton or the new, so it's not that big a difference, but it's a good league, good standard. Where do you see the club going over the new season? For the rest of this season? 
for the rest of the season, as I say, hopefully we can continue our good form in the cup and, and put, put a cup challenge together if we can. And hopefully now that we've got a few wins under our belt, we can start to push on the league and try and get in, sort of into the top half would be our first team. Uh, like I said, just we want to finish as high as possible in the league. You know, obviously being our first season, it's kind of almost a step into the unknown. But uh, no, I just want want to to finish as high as possible and a cup run as well would be nice. You know, uh, hopefully we do well in the cups. So Gaff and that's obviously won a cup last year. It's called Brighton. They know what it takes to win a cup. So we're hoping to do well in the cups and finish as high as possible. You know, it's hard now because we've had the change of Gaff and with the start we had, we didn't have a settled team. So the league. League's no out of reach, but at the same time it's going to be hard to catch Edinburgh City because they've been unbeaten. But if we string a couple of results together, you never know if you go unbeaten. So that's about it. <laughs> Ali, how much have you enjoyed coaching at Broomhill? It's been fantastic. I think that's about maybe six to eight weeks we've been in now. I think the boys are thoroughly enjoying it. I think you can see a difference in all their aspects of play. Um, and hopefully... Once we get a game, because a couple called off, uh, we may hopefully see the the response for the players in the in the games and try and pick up a few points. You know, it's been excellent. Um, I think the the best thing for us has been made to feel welcome. You're coming into a new environment with some new people. Um, you don't really know anybody. We, we met um, Steve Prince and we met George and. Uh, and Kenny Moyes, we met them and we, and we were introduced to them and we got a good feel about you know, the ethos of the club, how, how it's meant to be run uh, and that kind of fitted in with um, Ian King and myself's uh, ideas about how we wanted a football club to be so we've fitted in quite well, it's been a bit hectic um, getting to know 20 new players, um, losing some, bringing some others in it's been a hectic couple of months but we're now settled down into a routine two nights a week training, games on Saturdays and um, it's, been, it's been really good so far Oh, terrific, you know, it's been really enjoyable. Um, when we came in, it's hard at first because you're obviously inheriting someone else's squad, which is unavoidable. But uh, they've worked really hard, and funnily enough, tonight we've, we've just looked at the weights since the start of the season. So when we brought the scales in, they were a little bit wary of that. But uh, as a squad, they've averaged lost three pounds since the ten weeks ago, which is terrific. You know, they're getting fitter, getting to the way we're playing, and we're on a great run. You know, three wins in a row, so uh, it's all going well at the moment. What's impressed you most about the setup here? I think um, it's the willingness of everybody to help us. Um, we, we have asked for a, a couple of changes to training venues, um, time slots, stuff like that, and they've been accommodated. Everything we've really asked for at the club we've been given. Um, we've initiated a couple of changes um, to the way it was set up before, and everybody seemed really happy to help us do that. You know, so you know that's been the most pleasing aspect so far. Organisation and structure. To be honest, it's terrific. Uh, you know, being at other clubs where, as a coach, you may be expected to do other things and uh, and run around and, and get involved in fundraising and other stuff, and and you've still got to do a bit of that at, at a part-time club. But the structure of the club here, the organisation's only built, and that's for one way, and it's to go forward. And uh, it's terrific as a coach. Uh, you can't ask for any more support when you get here. You know, you're building a good squad here, but you seem to be building a good coaching staff as well. Is it just just as important? Well, it's very important. I think um, that there are certain aspects to football that um, any manager will tell you he's not entirely versed in, goalkeeping being one. It's a specialised situation, so we're, we're lucky to bring Andy Gorham in in that circumstance. Um, getting our strikers playing well and scoring goals. We brought a guy, Ali Graham, who's had 700 games at senior level and scored goals at every level he's ever played at. So that kind of experience is invaluable. Um, if we have been honest, Ian King and myself, we, we, we're still rookie coaches, you know, so we've got a lot to learn. And if you can learn off of guys like that and, and, and feed off their experience, it's great. We've also managed to keep uh, you know, Jamie Hamilton, who is an existing coach at the club, uh, who's gone through his coaching badges, and he's learning off us as well. So I think that's good, that we, we a, bit, a bit of continuity throughout the club, um, and, and it's important for us moving forward. Definitely. You know, I mean, Craig and I have been friends for uh, too long. Uh, we played our first organised game of football together when we were nine years old, so we both have the same philosophy in football. I'm not saying that we argue. Uh, we don't argue, but we, we do argue about team selection, and, and Ali Graham is vital for the strikers. You know, Ali Graham uh, got 700 pro games behind him. He's our friend from childhood as well, so we know him really well, and he's terrific around the, the camp, and, and obviously to get Andy Gorham in for the goalkeepers uh, was, was great. You know, he's got a wealth of experience, so you defer to those guys in those areas of the pitch you know Ali's been there and done it and as he keeps on reminding us every Tuesday he played against Bayern Munich in Europe so uh, he's done that and uh, he's got great experience and uh, Gorham obviously enough said you know the goalkeepers have loved working with him obviously I worked with East Kilbride with, with Craig and, and Ian you know and uh, they asked me down again and 
no problem, you know, a Monday and Wednesday night down in Glasgow. Uh, it's a wee bit further away than, than two minutes from the house, but thoroughly enjoying it. The guys are brilliant, a good bunch of boys, um, and as I said, they're all responding really well, and I think they're all moving forward, they're all moving the same direction, you know. So what's your assessment of the squad that you've got here? We're still building, I would say. We're still a work in progress, you know. I mean, this season, um, I think our job is to consolidate in the league uh, and get respected in the long league, and I think we're doing that, you know. We've had results already, like Dromedo BT, and, and, you know, we won away at Edinburgh University re recently. We're in the last 16 of the Challenge Cup. But I know from experience last season with East Kilbride, you know, the job then was to get them respected in the long league, and I think we did that. And obviously we won the SFA Challenge Cup at the end of the season, which was magnificent. So if we could do that again with this squad... Which I don't think is unattainable. You know, in the cups, I think we'll be a danger. You know, we've got uh, some really class players here, like Tony Wallace and Ross McKinnon, Gary Graham. We've just signed Aidan Malone. He's got eight goals already in, the, in his first season in the league. So, you know, we've got some decent players, and uh, I think people are going to be a bit worried about us in the future. Uh, made quite a few signings as well. Are you happy with how they're fitting? Well, to be honest, we, we, we were delighted the way they're fitted in, and we have went back to guys that we know. Um, it's important um, to have a core of people that you know you can rely upon that have also got experience in this league. Um, this league's quite unique, it's different. We've got, uh, we play a lot of football, but it's a quite a tough physical league. And we needed guys that we knew could stand up to that pressure every week and somebody that we could call upon. So we've, we've filled uh, the bulk of our signings with guys like that. So that's, that's helped us, and it's helped us stabilise the club when we moved in. It looks like quite a good standard here. How many of them do you think could step up? It's up to them. Um, we always tell them that. We're not here for us, it's for them. We try and help them in uh, every aspect of coaching, whether it be you know, talking about the game or their fitness. or you know, Obviously we're here to, to try and make them better. So it's up to them at the end of the day. And if they, As far as they want to go, um, if they keep their heads down, working hard, I, I can see a few of them moving on. What's been your highlight of the season so far? I think the highlights, uh, the performance away from home against Edinburgh Uni was terrific, but I also think the performance at home against uh, Dalbiti, which BSC TV covered, which was a, lo a load of people viewed that game and said to me what a terrific game it was. And Personally, I was tearing my hair out at the side of the park because it's four each. As a coach, you don't want to be losing four goals. But when I reflected on it, the team had lost earlier in the season 5-1 to Dalbiti, and I thought, that showed how far we've come, you know, uh, to draw four each with a team like Dobiti, who are one of the powerhouses in this league. Uh, showed that when we start getting the squad together, we'll be a force to be reckoned with if we can, you know, get a few more signings for next season. Uh, I would hope to be up there challenging. Scored one or two goals in your time. Who have you been passing on to the strikers here? Hopefully, um, I, I was a wee bit more of a setter-upper than a, than a goal scorer, you know, OK, I get a few, but... Um, I think it's your all-round game, your all-round game. I think they need, the boys need to work on that. Um, but, you know, just try not to panic in the box. Try and take your time and pick your spot. And I'm sure at this level, you know, the defenders are not the best in some of the teams. So if they can find a wee gap, then hopefully they can they can find the corner in it and, and get the, the club three vital points. Is there any players we should be looking out for? Well, I think um, uh, Tony Wallace is obviously a guy with professional experience. Um, I believe uh, Kieran here, who we inherited at the club, has um, been an ever-present for us. I think he's been excellent. Uh, and Aaron Murdoch, who's a signing of ours that we brought in, um, is a consistent, tough performer at this level. These guys you know, will be the mainstays of the club moving forward, as far as we're concerned. Uh, you've had some good results. Are so you building up a wee bit of momentum now? Definitely. Uh, you know, I think it's difficult at the start, as I say, this... this the fixtures didn't help us in the first few games. You know, we, the Spartans are champions in our second game and, and we had a lot of people injured and in holiday and stuff like that and went in with a weakened squad. I think Spartans will know Craig and I from last season and uh, with East Bride we didn't lose a game against them. In fact, we didn't lose a goal against them uh, last season and I think Spartans are still the benchmark, although Edinburgh City are, are uh, leading the league at the moment. Spartans have shown in the Scottish Cup by beating Clyde that, that they're the benchmark and... Um, you know, I think the next time we play Spartans will be a different entity, I can promise you that. Well, we've on a good little run just now. We've won our last three games, only conceding one goal in three games. And it's very much been our mantra since we got here that we have to, you know, limit the amount of chances other teams get. So we want to build on that 
be a difficult team to beat and then eventually we'll express ourselves. So we're on a good run just now, we want to continue that, hopefully move up the league, stabilise our league position and then really concentrate on the Cups in the second half of the season. The League Cup section starts in December um, and we're into the third round of the Challenge Cup. So that's our focus because the reality is we can't win the league from the position we're in. So um, we want to get a good finishing position there but concentrate on the Cups and hopefully get a good run at that. What's your ambition for the rest of the season then? Ambition is to see some of these boys improving um, and obviously winning a, f a few games. We've not set too high a standard, obviously, because we've come in midway through the season, but I think the higher up the league we can finish and maybe have a good couple of cup runs and, uh, and get everybody moving in the same direction and believing that we can maybe do something next year. Excited for the future then? I am, yep. Uh, it's funny enough... Uh, the board asked me when, when we had the chat about the job, uh, where did I see myself in two years' time? And I just said, here. There was a one more dancer. I don't really want to be anywhere else. You know, the way I've settled at, at the club, uh, the infrastructure, as I said, is terrific. Uh, and you want to be somewhere where you're supported and you get left to coach. And that happens here. Uh, and Craig and I are uh, delighted with the move. That's all for tonight. Keep one eye on the website and social media for more information about Broomhill. I've been Paul Elliott and you've been watching BSC TV.